Since time immemorial, athletes have done their damnedest to improve their performances in ways other than through extra training. In ancient Greece, Olympic contestants believed that eating goat's meat would help them jump higher and longer, while beef was thought to help them throw further. But in the modern world, where sporting competitions are ever more keenly contested, increasingly sophisticated doping techniques have evolved. Every sport requires a different kind of performance enhancement. Bodybuilding by using growth hormones, for example. Increasing endurance by improving blood oxygen levels with salbutinol, an anti-asthma drug, or EPO. Increased strength and muscle power can be achieved by the use of anabolic steroids or creatine. And there are substances to improve concentration, overcome the pain threshold, to lose weight or simply to mask the presence of other substances. Since the 1960s, sporting authorities have been waging war on doping in order to stamp out inequality among contestants, and more importantly, to protect the athlete's health. Doctors and researchers lead in the fight against a flood of new doping techniques. The World Anti-Doping Agency, founded in 1999, lays down the ground rules and procedure in the fight against drugs in sport. It has drawn up and regularly updates a list of proscribed substances, and has also more recently created the so-called biological passport. Rather than seeking to detect the presence of banned substances, athletes are monitored throughout the season, and certain biological markers are regularly measured. Heart rhythms, fat-to-weight ratios, and blood and urine levels. Any irregular biological changes, outside permissible limits, will indicate the strong possibility that illegal substances are present in the athlete's system.